Hey guys and welcome to my channel and to this video today we will be painting a beautiful sea scenery with a girl in a hat on the wind and I think I believe this one will be a little bit more challenging but still very very fun. As always Sketch is available for you to download on my website so there is the link down in the description box. Follow that link and download the sketch for yourself. And first thing I did, I privetted the paper around the girl and also did not privet the part where the beach is and then mixed in my paints. For this I mixed in a darker blue, something like ultramarine, a little bit of green and some dark brown to get that grayish, greenish, bluish color, something like that. And then painted in the part where the sea is. And also I did not paint the entire part. I just did skip some parts, left them white because I do want that sea to be very, very soft and to be very, very light. And then with a little bit smaller brush, I am adding a little bit more of the pigment on the parts where the waves are and still not very dark, not saturated. It will bleed since the paint is still wet. It will bleed into the other parts and it will be quite light when dried. Also, when I was doing those lines, I was just thinking about the shapes of waves and just trying to paint in those lines with a darker color following those shapes and making the sea look a little bit on uh, unstill, a little bit, a little bit uh, wavy, but still not with the huge waves and not looking like there is a storm, just a slight wind. Afterwards, I've picked up a little bit of that's something like rose sienna, painted in the beach on top, added a little bit of brown, something like sepia, and then sprinkled again some brown for a little bit more of the texture and smudged it in slightly. Also, when painting the beach, I wasn't painting the straight lines. I was just stopping it with my brush to get a little bit more interesting textures. Afterwards, I left that to dry completely. And when it did dry completely, I picked up again that mix of uh, green, brown and blue color, that grayish, slightly grayish color, this time a little bit more saturated and with a dry brush, almost dry brush and very little water in my paint, I did do the dry brushing, added those lines on top of those lines that I painted with lighter color. I've added a little bit more of the dial, darker uh, hue and then uh, just get that with that dry brush technique I got those broken lines and lines that look like waves and unstill sea so that is how you will achieve a little bit more of the texture if you use dry brushing technique also now I'm just adding a little bit of the white gouache in the lower part um, where the last first first or last wave is to get that look that maybe there is some foam there it will when it dries it won't be so visible so it doesn't matter I, I that was just something I did try to achieve and since I wasn't using very very dark colors for the sea that white didn't come you know in in first plan it wasn't so visible but that was fine now I've mixed in a little bit of pink from Etcher palette and added just a little bit also of that ultramarine to get this beautiful pinkish blue color and to that I've added also just a little bit of the brown to make it a little bit less saturated and then paint in the head and when painting in the head I was just looking to paint the parts darker parts that were in shadow and a little bit lighter parts that are highlighted that were lightened and then moving on to painting the hair I started with a lighter color this one was something like rose sienna and painted in the well, the lighter parts of the hair just and then on top of it with this darker darker brown color I've painted in the uh, some hairs that are going to be a little bit darker and again I wasn't using a lot of paint you can see the lines are broken and that was fine because that is how we will achieve a little bit more textures just make it look like all hairs are the same size same length and there are uh, some movement in our hair also moving on to the head just adding a little bit more of details a little bit of darker pigment where the shadows are and 
just doing that little ribbon on top of my hat and now when finished with that I've picked up a little bit of that same color that I used for the C but this time I've added just a little bit more of the green to it and painted in the shirt of the girl and I was just minding where the parts where the creases are on the shirt and where the highlights and the shadows are so I was just painting in also those shadows I'll be doing a lots more details to the to that um, shirt also to head to to hair to the C and I'm just building in the layers I'm not trying to paint everything at the same time because my paint is still wet so I'm just building in glaze one, one layer on top of the other adding some details and that is how I will be painting this painting going from one uh, part to another painting details and when that dries adding another a layer on top and I do believe that layering in this painting will add a little bit more realistic look so just do the as much as layers as you like you see right now I'm just picking up the paint so I'm just minding where I see when it starts to dry of course watercolors are different than wet so you just watch it you just look at your painting and how it is drying how it is everything coming together when you add paint to one part maybe you find it that there is paint missing on the other part and that's all normal just build the layers when you're doing a little bit more realistic painting that is how you do it you build layers you can't really do everything in one layer I mean maybe you can but I don't think I, I have never done it I when doing a little bit more realistic paintings I'm just painting in layers and it's so relaxing and this takes patience but that is that is a little bit more realistic painting you can't finish that painting in five minutes you do have to build layers I've also painted in the same color that I've painted the hat I've painted the well I'm not sure that the skirt or or bands from our girl so I painted that in same color and then as I said moving back to the hair adding a little bit more of the details with it this uh, detail brush this is brush from Lebanon paint brushes and I do love that brush for doing details for doing lines and for also a dry brushing it has it doesn't it can hold a quite amount of water but I do not like to use it with a lot of water I use it with a very small amount of water so when I do the lines I got this broken looking lines and a little bit more realistic look Also adding here on the shirt a little bit darker color where I think the shadows are and a little bit more details to the hat. The hat was just too flat to me so I've added some lines and then with my finger I've just topped it in to smooth it slightly. and a little bit more details to the beach adding one more layer of very very light color light brown to make it slightly darker now that I have painted my girl it is a little bit darker so the beach was just too light and I added another layer also same thing for the waves adding one more layer just using the same colors as I did before but this time with a little bit less water and also doing some lines trying to achieve maybe wave those uh, foams with adding a little bit of the darker pigment here and there and just making it look like it is moving slightly again a little bit more of that dry brushing technique adding just a little bit more of the pigment not the entire line but just some parts of the line a little bit more of the details to the hair and now that I've painted it I'm just I was looking at it and seeing that my hair is not really connected with the head it doesn't look like it's coming beneath the head so I did add that part added a little bit more of the hair just uh, beneath the hat to make it look like the hat is on top of the hair and there is hair beneath some hat a little bit more details again to the hat and with that I'll be finishing off this painting and this video I hope you guys like it it's something maybe a little bit different than we painted lately so I did think that would be something a little bit more interesting a little bit more challenging why not we can just give it a shot and guys thank you so much for watching and for all your support I really do appreciate that a lot 
And if you do like this video, please hit the like button, share it and comment. If you haven't still, please do subscribe to my channel. That would really mean a lot to me. And maybe even consider joining my channel. That's the join next to the subscribe. And again, thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.